Hey, basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm gonna to give you some of my favorite conditioning drills that you can do while you're self-isolating or in quarantine at home because of the coronavirus. Or you can even still do these drills afterwards anyways. So the first drill that I'm gonna show you, let's get rid of this basketball, we don't need it today. We're gonna to start off by starting at this 15 foot mark away from the rim. Now you don't necessarily need a rim, you can use a wall for this as well. We're gonna go for three hops. We are then going to defensive slide down towards the net. Now, if you have a wall, you don't necessarily have to aim for a mesh because obviously you might not have a mesh, but try to aim for a high part of the wall. If you have a net, if you can touch the backboard, go for it. If you can touch the rim, go for it. If you can touch the mesh, go for it. We're gonna go for five hops. One, two, three, four, five, we're then gonna turn. We're gonna then close out, stutter step out, and then we're going to turn, pivot, defensive slide back, and then do five hops again. Now, after you've done that five times, the next five after you've stutter stepped out is to defensive slide the other direction and go one, two, three, four, and five. Defensive slide back out facing that same direction. So this is a great drill, so let's check it out. Also, what you can do is go for a jog, go for a sprint, go and try and find an open area and go for as much of a run as possible. Also, if you can find some stairs, try running up the stairs for a two minute, five minute or 10 minute interval. And another great exercise that will actually decrease knee pain as well is to run backwards up a slight hill. This is gonna really work the fronts of your legs so it's gonna help you jump higher, be able to react faster to somebody who's driving on you, but also it's gonna help you be able to take away a lot of the knee pain that you tend to get. So this next exercise I'm gonna give you is some agility ladder drills. You don't necessarily need to have an expensive agility ladder. You can use tape on the ground, like I have here in my driveway. This agility ladder cost me a total of $3 and you could probably make one as well. So one of the most basic agility ladder drills that you can do is a basic hopscotch, a two foot hopscotch. So what this is gonna look like is two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, and then you can try and make this go as fast as you can. Another basic agility ladder drill that you can do is to have one foot in, one foot out, and both feet are gonna to touch each box. So you're gonna jump out, have your left foot in, next box, right foot in, left foot in, right foot in, left foot in, and you can move all the way down the ladder. So this is what these two drills are gonna look like. Now when you're doing agility ladder drills, make sure to stay on your toes. It's gonna to help your legs have a better workout but also when you're on your toes, whether you're doing this or in a basketball game or in a football game or really any sport, by being on your toes, you're gonna to be able to react quicker to a player who you're defending or it's also gonna help you be able to drive if you're playing basketball on your defender a lot faster. Now the next step on agility ladder drills for the hopscotch that I just showed you is by going one foot in, two feet out, one foot in, two feet out. And you'll be alternating between the right and the left leg in and out of that box. So to give it a little bit more room, you're gonna go right foot in, two out, left foot in, two out, right foot in, two out, left foot in, two out. And then the faster you go along that ladder, along this drill, the faster you're gonna be, but also the better workout you're gonna have. And then for the foot crosses that we were doing earlier, we can have a little bit more of an advanced version of that as well. So what we were doing before, as you know, right foot in, left foot in, and then you move ahead. But what you can do to have a little bit more of an advanced type of workout here is we can add two different variations. So when you've gone from right leg to left leg, when you get back to the right leg, we can switch over 
and then go left leg and back. Right leg, switch over. Left leg, right leg, switch over. Left leg, right leg, switch over. And then you can keep on moving down the ladder or you can stay within that two box area. So this is what it's gonna look like if you go a little bit quicker. Remembering, conditioning is very important even though you're stuck at home during this coronavirus pandemic or if you're just on summer break looking to try and stay up or get better than the opponent. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player or a better football player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.